Hello grade 8 students, welcome back to our YouTube channel for today's lesson, we will be talking about comets, asteroids, and meteors. To proceed, can you identify the following celestial objects? The first one is an asteroid. The second is a comet and the third one is a meteor slash meteor shower. Now, let us talk about comets and asteroids. Comets and asteroids are referred to by astronomers as near-Earth objects or NEO. Comets are icy bodies or objects while asteroids are rocky fragments. Comets and asteroids are remnant from the formation of our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. To know more about comets and asteroids, let us have a comparison on some characteristics of them in terms of origin, shape, size range of diameter, chemical composition, orbit, and their orbital period. In terms of origin, Comets are found in Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud. Long-period comets are found in Oort Cloud while short-period comets are found in Kuiper Belt. Asteroids are found in Main Asteroid Belt. Main Asteroid Belt is located roughly between the orbits of the planets Jupiter and Mars. Comets come in varied or irregular shapes same as with asteroids as observed in sample pictures below. Comets have a size range of 1 to 10, kilometers, nucleus only, while asteroids have a size range of 1 to 100 plus plus, kilometers. Obviously, asteroids are much much bigger than comets. The chemical composition of a comet are frozen water, frozen gas such as ammonia, methane, and carbon dioxide and other organic compounds like carbon-containing compounds. While asteroids are composed of silicates, iron, and nickel. Comets' orbit are highly elliptical. While asteroids have a more rounded orbit. Comets have an orbital period of 75 to 100, 000 plus plus years Halley's Comet is the most famous comet of the 20th century. Halley's Comet is an example of a short period comets which only takes 75 to 79 years to orbit the Sun. Note, long period comets take 200 to 100 million of years to complete their orbit around the Sun. While asteroids orbit the Sun for about 1 to 100 years. Asteroid series is the largest asteroid with an orbital period of 4.6 years. Let us know more about the anatomy of a comet. A comet has parts. It has a called coma, is the nebulous envelope around the nucleus of a comet, formed when the comet passes close to the Sun on its highly elliptical orbit. It has a nucleus, is the solid, central part of a comet, once termed a dirty snowball or an icy dirt ball. It has an ion tail, is the result of ultraviolet radiation ejecting electrons off particles in the coma. And a dust tail, a relatively wide, often flaring and curved, illuminated tail composed of dust that is forced away from a comet's nucleus by solar radiation pressure. Now, let us move on to meteoroid, meteor and meteorite. Can you identify which one is a meteoroid? Meteorite. And a meteor. The first one is called a meteor. The second is the meteorite and the third one is a meteoroid. A meteoroid is a small body moving in the solar system that would become a meteor if it entered the Earth's atmosphere. A meteoroid usually burns up when it enters the Earth's atmosphere. A meteor is a light phenomenon or a streak of light that occurs when a meteoroid burns up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Now, 
when a fragment from meteoroid survives and makes it to the ground, this space rock fragment is now called a meteorite.